This is now the same patient than on the previous video, but this is the, the episode with the treatment. You can see initially normal rhythm, and then acceleration, the same kind of episode in a very fast ventricular arrhythmia, initial detection of the arrhythmia, and then after 10 seconds, the start of the alarms. The patient is still conscious and then he will press the buttons. As long as the response buttons are pressed, the live vest resolves the therapies. So conscious patients hearing or sensing the alarm system can prevent themselves from being shocked inappropriately as a result of noise artifacts, but also appropriately as a result of an hemodynamically well-tolerated ventricular arrhythmia, like in this example. If the patient feels palpitation or any symptoms, he has been instructed to sit or lie down to avoid injury if he is losing consciousness. During this episode, the patient will remain conscious for a quite long time, so we will see that he will press the buttons here, here, and here, but really the arrhythmia is very fast. At one time, he will lose consciousness, the response buttons will be released, then the defibrillation inhibition will be withdrawn, and the electric shock will be delivered. The possible interaction with the patient, the possibility to press the button to cancel the therapy is a major characteristic of this kind of device. Uh, it will help avoiding the delivery of inappropriate therapy, but also like in this example, it will help avoiding the device to shock the patient while he is conscious and like in this example, the patient will not experience any pain due to the shock.